Yo, Hobo, what's up, bro? What's going on, fool? Ain't too much, bro. Shit, it's been a long minute, man. We ain't chopped it up, man. I just wanted to get up with you, man. Piss some things out there. Clear the air about a few things. True that. First, first let the people know who you is, man, and, and, and where you from exactly. Man, I'm Hobo. Texas, I'm the Hobo, man. I'm from the low end, 40, 30, State Street, Chicago, North, State to the Lake, Inglewood, anywhere. I'm all through here. I'm fucking know who we is. Right, 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 bro. So for people that don't know, bro, you take six hundred blood, cousin, bro. Ain't no fool stuff, stuff like that. Now it's been a situation, man, that been going on. You feel me? That we been saying where they was trying to accuse like Tay again, jumped by some little young dudes or something like that, man. Clear that situation up for the people, man. No, that shit was fool. You know what I'm saying? Fool enough, fool enough from Harvey. Them niggas, looking for, them niggas was looking for clout, you know what I mean? They just started the shit with everybody was trying to get the clout, but that ain't the way you get no clout. You know what I mean? Tay told me don't even, you know what I mean? Don't even fall off, don't even fall off into that shit. That's why I didn't even fall off into that shit, but I wanted to get on them niggas' ass. You know what I'm saying? But he like, man, fall back, man. That shit fool, man. You know what I mean? Don't need, man, he told me to chill. You know what I mean? I did him and shit. I'm like, man, this shit blowing me, bro. I'm like, bro, this shit got my anxiety on a hundred. You know what I mean? Like, man, that shit fool, cuz, oh. You know what I mean? Chill. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, cool. All right, don't worry about it. I'm going to chill. So that's why I was, I, I chilled, I chilled out. And then they, they come back with an interview with 16 Shot saying this shit fake, this shit was fooled. Then take call 16 Shot had them clear the shit up over the phone. And, and uh, over the phone on live. Like, man, them niggas said that shit was fooled. Like, yeah, them niggas was just doing that shit for clout. You know what I'm saying? You don't do shit like that for clout. You know what I mean? Shit like that don't. Don't stand up with niggas. Niggas, them ain't stand up niggas, you know what I mean? You get your own bag out of it, you know what I mean? Like, like Tay. Tay ain't really beefing with no niggas, you know what I mean? Niggas, don't get me wrong, you know, if you see niggas in the street, yeah, it's on, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because they slander a nigga man, but niggas still out here slander that name when that paperwork came out. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, of course, it's going to be it's gonna be some some conflicts there. And some conflicts here, you know what I mean? It's blood. They, it's this blood, blood in this shit, you know what I mean? Buka, Lil D, them, them, them blood. That's blood, bro. They got the same last name we got. You know what I'm saying? We all blood cousins. But they rolling with dirt because that's where dirt bag come from. Just like King Von, he gonna roll with dirt because that's where his bag coming from. You know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas steady exposing these niggas, you know what I'm saying? These niggas steady getting exposed. Just see Memo, he just got exposed on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Tay really L.A. up, you know what I'm saying? Niggas thinking he not, you know what I mean? He really L.A. up, you know what I'm saying? His yeah. name Tay Capone now. You know what I mean? Right. He switched I that shit that. up, you know what I mean? I noticed that. that why, why he switch it up just with the whole 600 thing and everything that happened? Yeah, you know what I mean? He been, he been, he been wanting to do that. He been, he been going to do that, you know what I mean? He still going to always be 600. Be 600. That shit will never leave about his, about his blood, you know what I mean? Because that's where he started that nigga. He was in the trenches, you know what I mean? He's one of them faces out there. And he was a shorty, 13, 14, you know what I mean? His daddy went to the, you know what I mean? Went to the bed joint, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? He was, he was, he was in the streets, you know what I'm saying? So, he always going to be 600, but, you know what I mean? He changed his name because he took that shit up off his shit, you know what I mean? Because that shit fake, that shit fool, man. Niggas ain't who they say they is, you know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas ain't really who they say they is out here, man. And then because a nigga, nigga fucked your baby mama, you want to slander a nigga name like that. Come on, man. That shit ain't, that ain't, how many baby mamas you fuck? Right. You know what I'm saying? How many bitches, you know what I mean? How many niggas baby mamas you fuck? You know what I'm saying? Now you slander a nigga name for that shit, you niggas slander his name for three years straight. Like so, three years straight. Right. So with the huh? situation, with the situation, all right. I've been looking. I've been saying a lot of stuff. The situation basically worked itself out, and I seen a lot of stuff going on about Rondo and stuff like that. So even with the paperwork and his name being cleared, like ain't nobody reach out to him. Like ain't none of the old homies like say, "All right, bro, my bad, my fault, bro." Like we ain't know. Ain't nobody like reach out to him. I don't even know. All I know is, you know, what I'm saying he still talks to some of the niggas from old block. He still fuck with some of the niggas from wherever, wherever, wherever. He still fucking. A lot of them niggas still be calling the DM them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. A lot of them niggas still be. He still in tune with a lot of the, a lot of his guys. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas that ain't, that ain't on that fuck shit. You know what I mean? Like fool them from the hundreds. You know what I mean? Jock the block them. You know what I mean? Fool them when going off that, going off that shit. You know what I mean? They want to see paperwork, black and white matter, bro. 
You know what I mean? Black and white matter. Come on, man. Six nine just did the same shit. Right. Did he get on the stand or not? Yeah, he just got on the stand. He down so sure did. He got on the stand. So there's no way you snitching on a nigga and you ain't get in that boat. They got some shit. Caught. Come on, man. Niggas don't know. See, these niggas don't know. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to brag or nothing. You know what I mean? But I done been to the penitentiary five times. You know what I mean? Right. I done been to the joint five motherfucking times. Now, I know the penal institution back and forth. And I know the law. It's a Sixth Amendment white man. You have to white to face your accuser. Right. Yeah, that's, Nigga, that's all you gotta do. It's a six minute way. Go on the internet, Google it. The six minute way. You have the right to face your accuser. Right. Material right. witness or anything. Anybody got special on a nine one? Come on, man. Them hoes take them hoes. Name all through that paperwork. Right. Saying what they said and everything. They never named Shorty. Saying he said shit. Nothing. Right. Now, the bro, same shit. Yeah, been- yeah. Go ahead. It been it been a lot of a lot of a lot of stuff going on in Chicago, bro. I know you probably been hearing about it and all what's going on in the streets with like O five one, you know what I mean, the whole Melly situation and you know what I mean yeah. just a lot of stuff in and period, you feel me? A lot of violent stuff like that. Women getting hit up, you know, right. pregnant women getting killed, you feel me? Like is it like what's what's up with it? What's going on now? I know last time man, we talked, you man, know what it's, I mean? It's, it's fucked up up here, bro. You know what I mean? That shit with Millie. I don't even know Millie. You know what I'm saying? I just know Millie used to fuck with Tay, Tay's sister. You know what I mean? Mm. He used to fuck with me and the Red. He used to live with them, too. Millie, Millie, that was, you know what I mean? He loved the Tay mama. You know what I mean? I'm talking about love the Tay mama. That was his mama. You know what I mean? He was in the crib. Tay daddy came home. He was there, too. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't even really know too much about Millie, but I know he was a dog in the streets. You know what I mean? Shorty had at least like 40 of them boys on him. Right. Bodies. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Niggas fear Shorty. He didn't move like that. Shorty never moved like that and he kept it on him. Right. Anything you see him, man, he was in some straight, a straight eight, some fast. You know what I mean? He never, he fucked with Duck and them because that's, that's who he fucked with. That's who Duck and them fucked with. That was one of they, one of they people. But, you know what I mean? Them niggas ain't, niggas ain't, niggas fear Shorty. Real, real, real live. Fear shorty in the streets. I ain't even know. I'm 36 years old, bro. You know what I mean? I'm down at 40. Right. Niggas think I'm young because I look young. But, yeah, they feared him in the streets, man. Shorty was feared in the streets, bro. Real live fear. He was a dog in the streets, man. A real live dog, man. And they, and they, you know what I mean? They, they caught him, man. They, they, they that's, that shit looked like a setup to me, bro. I, I don't see no other way, bro. I don't see another way. Ain't no pistols in the party. Y'all in the party, you know what I mean? He only motherfucker got a pistol on him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wild. Come on, man. That was wild That's... because the situation, you know what I mean? I tried not to speak too much on it because I didn't know exactly what was going on. But from what I was hearing and from what I was saying, it's like he was comfortable. I don't think bro would have been nowhere where he wasn't comfortable. No, he was comfortable. He was on STL. You know, over there, like, right over there where they at, they got a lot of love. Airbnbs over there, through them cribs, through them hoods, over there, through them hoods and shit. It's a lot of white folks over there that bought all that property and shit over there. And they making them cribs out of Airbnbs and they letting them motherfuckers rent them out. So that's basically what they, pro- they what they probably had. You know what I'm saying? But he in the party, they said they backdoed him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, man. He's standing there, man. Niggas looking at him. I don't know if... If I'm seeing things or what, but I'm knowing niggas looking at them, they staring at them, they doing this. Oh, they got all type of shit going on on the internet. To my some old old girl put her hand up, gave the signal. Niggas was laughing. No nigga was laughing. Dude was crying. Homie wasn't laughing in that motherfucking video. He was crying when yeah, they killed that. Shorty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm Shorty got hit like they say. Shorty got hit like seventeen, eight, up down to twenty times. You can hear it going off. They hit him. They made sure he was dead. Because they know if they didn't, it would have been hell to tell the captain. You know what I mean? You talking about Lil Reese the Grand Reaper. Shorty a real Grand Reaper out here. I don't even know him. But yeah. the way they talk out here about him, he a real Grand Reaper. You know what I'm saying? He's a real Grand Reaper. You know what I mean? He ain't do shit but, you know what I mean? Basically just live life. You know what I mean? Shit like that. It's really fucked up up there. You know what I mean? Everybody going, they going at it. You know what I mean? That's what I was just about it's to like, ask you, bro. That was my next question. Like, 
being that bro was like a major figure to his community and to his peoples or whatever, like, I know the repercussions for that probably crazy in the streets right now. Yeah, yeah. The same, a couple of days later, they they went and shot up Front Street, 61st. 61st in King Drive. They hit, they hit like eight, nine motherfuckers. I'm out, more than that, they said. Right. It was, which I can't count, but I know it was over 10 motherfuckers got hit. Man, it's going to the war up in the water. Man, the shit that's going on over there, man, that shit going to be going on forever. They killed Millie, man. Somebody gonna, somebody big gonna pay for that shit, bro. Trust me, bro. You know what I mean? And the police know that shit. That's the shit I'm saying ain't shit, but that's the shit a motherfucker don't know. We speaking on facts. Right. You know what I'm saying? We speaking on truth. We speaking on everything that's going on in the city, bro. It's really fucked up up here, bro. Niggas speaking this cause, okay, I'm in this city, I'm in that city, bro. Chicago fucked up. Right. Right. It's fucked up, man. I was just in the gas station yesterday. On 71st and Ashland. Soon I'm ready to pull out that bitch. They switched cheese on somebody's car. And then, they got them and, um, the bullet ricocheted and hit the lady in the fucking face. Uh-huh. Man, it's fucked up up here, bro. Literally, man. You can't really go nowhere. You know what I mean? You can't go, you know, especially on the south side of Inglewood. You know what I mean? Out here, like out west, they out there, they beefing over money in blocks. You can't come on my block and you can't get no money over here. Over here, they beefing over the internet. Niggas out here beefing over the internet, but it's real live beef because of that shit with the with that JoJo shit. And then when Ad Ten says they killed JoJo, the GDs and the BDs, that shit been beef. So now it's like clicks now. That's what I'm saying, Let me know. bro. Like like with with all the talent, all the rappers, you feel me? Like you don't think like it'll never be a time that's like Duck on right now. Your cousin, he damn near on. You feel me? You got Dirk and them. Just think if everybody just be like, all right, bro, we, we going to come together and make a song, bro. You know how Atlanta do. You don't never think it'll be that. Exactly. You just took the words right out of my mouth. Like Atlanta. Them niggas ain't out. They probably beefing, but they they, 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 they doing songs with that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Right. You might not see Dolph do a song with got them with, um, with um, your boy, um, who he was into it without the, Dolph was into it with, um, but Yo Gotti? Yo Gotti them. Yeah. See, Yo Gotti them from Memphis. You yeah. know what I mean? You might not see you got them and them um, Gucci do shit with Flocka, but they ain't decent like they ain't they ain't killing each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? Up here, okay, it'd be it'd be it'd be lovely to get a song with Tay and Duck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. That shit would go down in history. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. That shit'd go down in history. But it'll never happen because the opposition. Y'all kill my homies. So, it's time for us to kill your homies. Have you know it what I mean? Have it, ever been, have it ever been like any of the big guys or any of the big homies that brought everybody to the table and say, look, bro, let's just do this. Or, Man, or they tried that shit. Yeah. They tried it. They had big homie, big BD Law. He was a BD. His name was Law. He came home. He tried to get the shit together or whatever. They killed dude, bro. Yeah. Bro, he was the next, the next man standing on the streets. They killed dude, Swiss cheese, this guy. 40, 50 something times, bro. Because of, because of, because of, because I'm trying because to bring of, everybody together or, or, or just because of, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like this. It's like this. You a big nigga coming home from the joint. You know what I mean? It's not the same as it was back then in the 80s, in the 90s. It's not the same no more. So was you in a joint? A motherfucker ain't a motherfucker out here ain't telling you, man. The streets fucked up in Chicago, man. It ain't like that. The gang, it ain't like that. A motherfucker got you thinking that you 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 the same the same shit was going on when you was out here. It's not that. Go tell you a motherfucker need to tell them the truth that's in there. Them board members and shit that's up in JLG. A motherfucker need to tell them the truth, bro. It's not the same. It's not G. It's not the same. Do you feel it's like? Not the same, do you feel like, man, it, it, it's just money? Like, if it was, like, money involved or, like, it, if niggas had they hand on, like, some bread, would the violence stop? Or you just think they ain't got nothing to do, so they still on it? Bro, it ain't even that. You got to look at it like this. So only certain niggas from the blocks, from your hood, with that bread. You know what I'm saying? Right. Every motherfucker ain't got that bread. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of these niggas out here, they beefing over raps. They rapping and they beefing. 
But you got a lot of niggas out there that ain't rapping that's out there on them blocks holding them bitches down. And them niggas on tour. You get what I'm saying? Right. So it, it, it'll never end. Now, you might just say, okay, it might end with dude now. Oh, because dude and left the hood and got his bread. But what about the niggas you left behind? They still out on the block defending, defending this block for, for Charlie Watt. You know what I'm saying? Right. Charlie Watt dead. This Charlie Watt block. We call it the Charlie, Charlie Watt world. You know what I'm saying? So now you gone to L.A., but Shorty and them still out here claiming Shorty Watt. And they die. And they won. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's the shit that's going on. A lot of that's the shit that's going on up here. A lot of that shit that they doing right now, bro, they couldn't even do back in the day because the niggas split their shit. Right, right. It's not. It don't. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't no structure. You know what I'm saying? It's no structure. Not half of the little niggas not right now. That's BDs, GDs, whatever the fuck they is. They don't even know what the shit stands for, what it means, or what they claiming. They just jumping off the porch into the shit. Oh, I'm gonna go hang an old block for about three weeks. Now I'm BD. Right. Or I go hang on STL for a couple of months. Now I'm STL, I'm GD. You don't know shit about GD. You don't know shit about the BDs. You know what I mean? You don't know nothing. They can't even tell you uh, 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 probably the, 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 the five P's of the gang's disciples. They can't even tell you that. Niggas probably don't even know the, 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 um, that David is the fucking king and Larry is a co-chairman. I had did a video, bro, like that, bro, saying like if the OGs was on, would it be Scrush and would these young dudes stop? You think you think that'll be the case? I think it's too late, bro. I don't think they want to hear that. Man, I think it's too late. I think it's too late. I think it is too late, though. I think it is too late. But I'm gonna just tell you how I feel as a as coming up back then. Larry is the man, G. Right. They trying to get dude out of jail. Dude, dude in jail for. Some shit that they that they did bogus. They get a man life for nothing. You know what I mean? Just because he was trying to do a politics and he was whatever the fuck. They bugged his they bugged his motherfucker. The IDs of motherfuckers come to see him without. You know what I mean? They bugged that shit without a motherfucker knowledge. You know what I mean? Motherfucker didn't even know they was bugged. Y'all, y'all phone call the motherfucker conversations. So they locked Larry up. Really like Larry locked up bogus. You know what I'm saying? They won't let him get his, they won't let him see his people. They won't let him get contact visits with shit. But then you got motherfuckers like Jay Prince. You know what I mean? With, the, with that mob tie shit, you know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't no gang. It ain't like they went the mob ties. Like the mob ties mean, nigga, we, we got, we can, we, we like AT&T. We can reach out and touch your ass in any state. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, how was and it? How was I, it? How was it back when you was when you was growing up, bro? Like, tell me a little man, bit about your upbringing. Now, now, see, when I was growing up, when I was growing up, it was structure. You know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, you know what I mean? We was nigga. We couldn't even. You didn't go to school. You sold shit. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you had to do security. Right. You know what I mean? You had to be up under that. I was from. I went from the project building. 16 story buildings. So you had to be on security while fooling them in that selling drugs until your time up. If the war on and we won, because yeah, we did war with the BDs and the MCs, shit like that, because we had five builders and the BDs back there had three builders. But nigga, we was one with family. You know what I mean? My family ran one side and my other family ran the other side with the BDs. We won though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We won to my real life war. You know what I mean? So it's like when I was growing up, we did. We actually, nigga, we had to exercise. Nigga, we had to come to sections. We had to pay dues. The war was on, nigga. You spent up on that bitch twelve hours, nigga, with an AK forty seven. Right, right, right. So you know basically, I mean? so I'm basically, talking. y'all was patrolling the neighborhood, trying to make sure everything was good, and y'all made sure Man, y'all looked out for each other. It really like it really like when even the neighborhood, it like when no neighborhood, it was just like. Our land. It was it was a, it was land. We called it the land. You know what I mean? Because we had we had builders. You know what I mean? We the GDs ran State Street. Cause I'm gonna put it like this to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start from Parkway. Parkway was GD. Parkway in the back of Parkway on 64th. Before you get to 65th, in the back by that school by that Walgreens, it was GDs in there before they even before it was, it came all BDs when it, that shit. The BDs was in there, but it was GDs in there, and he was able to go in that motherfucker 
out a motherfucker. He was acknowledging you or saying shit to you. Right. Now they had another building. They had two. They had two more red buildings. Sixty two seventeen Calumet, where twin of them came from. The beauty twin them, Vernon and Vern, where they came from. They had that motherfucker sold up. Then they had another building in front of that motherfucker, a project building. It was GDs. You know what I mean? Then you had the BDs on Murder Drive. Now you go to State Street, you start from 53rd from the projects. You had the MCs in the hole. You go to 51st Street, you had Mark Clark and them, them GDs. You know what I'm saying? Now you go on 49th and State. That's big homie number. They GDs. We down there. Now you go to 48th and State. 48, 48 had MCs, 48, 45 had BDs, and 48, 44 had GDs. Now you get to 47. You got the Rosenwald, they GDs. Half of them flip BDs. You explain, got them explain, at explain it to the people what flip mean. Flip mean, flip mean, I'm going from GD to BD. Now I'm a pancake. You know what I mean? Right. That's what they call niggas. You a pancake, nigga. You, you what? Oh, now you, now you G, now you BD. Like Tay said, a lot of them niggas from from Rondo used to be GD. A lot of them niggas from Six Hundred used to be GDs. Now why, you BD. But, but why the? All right, say for instance, if I'm if I'm GD and I want to be BD, when the BD be like, nah, bro, like you, you already GD, cause ain't you is what you is. Like like how they do that though? Now, I don't know how they do it right now, but like back then. We accepting, they accepting niggas in. You know right. what I'm saying? Back then, it's like, okay, man, I'm GD. I'm GD, but now I want to be BD. So now I'm going 45th, man. I, ain't, I don't want to fuck with food now, man. I want to I wanna be BD. Food, I want to come on through. Nigga, come on through. Nigga, we're going to make sure you BD. But now when you go back and you, you get on some goofy shit and trying to be GD, food, I'm already looking at you stupid, but now the BDs want to kill you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now, when you, like I'm saying, back to the back, back, back down there on State Street. You know what I mean? The low end. Now, when you get to 40, 40, 40, 47, 45th in State, you got the BDs. That's Freedom Town. You got 45, 55. You got 45, 25. You got 45, 100. These facts. Any motherfucker that's come under your comment gonna know I'm from Chicago because don't know motherfucker. If you ain't from Chicago, you don't know shit about this. And then you get to 43rd. That's where we from. You got 44, 44, 44, 29. 4410, 4331, you got 4352. Right. Them right. GDs down there. We, they GDs down there. Now you get to 40th and state. You got 4037, 4101, and 4022. Them GDs. Now you get the stateway. They used to call it C-Town. Them GDs. But they got two BD builders. The Deuce and the Five on state. Now you get to 20, you got them at um, ninth. Once you pass it up, you get the 29th. You got the MCs. That's the Dearborns. They still, them projects still up. You get the 27th, them the GDs. You get the 22nd, them GDs. You get the 23rd, them GDs. You get the 24th, them GDs. Them, that's the Ickies. Right. And you get the 21st, the, 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 the Hillians, them GDs. Bro, the GDs ran State Street, bro. No matter where you went, it was GDs. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, right now, niggas don't know. Like, I keep telling niggas, nigga, you niggas, y'all niggas steady saying, oh, man, Tay broke, Tay this, Booker, Booker get on there saying Tay broke. Tay ain't broke, man. You niggas, he just ain't, he just ain't, he just, he just ain't doing what you dumb motherfuckers doing. You niggas flies, you niggas want to flies. Okay, flies. Yeah, he went to Baltimore Road. Yeah, he finna bust that motherfucker down, too. Right. He ain't flawed, nigga. He's just stacking. What's the situation with bro? What, what's Shorty. the situation with bro and like uh the record labels? He gonna stay independent or he talking? He speaking to people? He going? They just man. He talking, bro. You know mm. what I mean? I ain't gonna put it out there who he talking to because he might get on come over here. Man, he might. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna put it out there to he talking to. But I, you will be the first motherfucker to know when it's time to put it out there. You know what I mean? Because yeah. he'll let me know. Yeah, go ahead. Woo woo. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, 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 he's been talking to labels. A couple of labels. He was talking to two labels before he got two major labels before he got booked for the pistol case. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just they ain't talking this talk. You know what I mean? He don't want to be no, no, 
I don't even, I wouldn't want them to be no Lil Durk and, and, and Lil Reese. When they got signed, they got two hundred fifty thousand dollars. They split five hundred thousand apiece. That ain't no money to sign no niggas. Right. He just signed Mem he just signed Memo and Jess Glow for thirty thousand. Mm. Who the fuck did it? Come on, bro. That's crazy, bro. Come on, man. Now what's the situation? 30, what's the situation? I ain't sure if you know, bro, but I've been saying like it seems like the BDs ain't really rocking with me more right now. You know what I mean? Like, like, what's the situation with bro? Like, it's like both because sides dude, don't want him. Dude, that's because dude, bro, dude is a clown, man. Dude, a clown, bro. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck about what he do, how he do it. You know what I mean? Because he's a kid. You know what I mean? But you gotta, it's the way you move. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's the way you move, bro. Y'all moving out here? Y'all moving dumb, bro. Killers don't killers don't do that shit. How you feel about the niggas situation with, with 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 Vaughn and Dirk and all them and the situation that happened in Atlanta? I feel like this, right? I'ma tell you the truth from being one hundred. You know what I mean? Dirk's dumb than a motherfucker. Yeah. Y'all the stupidest motherfuckers ever. You need to call y'all the world's dumbest criminals too. No fucking way, G, I got a bag like that, bro. And I'm going to lay me a nigga down, bro. And I know I'm a convicted felon, bro. Listen, bro. It's too many niggas out here, y'all, and left up here in Chicago. And this is 100. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. Any motherfucker going to say this, go say it, bro. And let me know if I'm right or if I'm wrong. It's too many motherfuckers out here that y'all got from Chicago that have no background that's able to go get a concealed and carry license and be a security guard, an armed security you got money, nigga. Go buy you a fucking security business. Right, bro. Right. And now you got, now you got, okay, now you got this. Like I'm always saying, you got this. Say for instance, you're a rapper. You got all your homies out here. You know you're a convicted felon. You know the niggas you signed convicted felons. But you know you got niggas back home that ain't convicted felons. You make all them niggas go get concealed and carry license. So now, y'all got the guns, and y'all look just like we look. Yeah. Fuck it, you know what I mean? We yeah. gonna look like the same way. We ain't gonna look like, we ain't gonna put no suits on or shit. We gonna put these baseball caps on, these, these motherfucking Gucci shoes, we gonna do it like that, and we gonna, but y'all got p pipes on y'all. But y'all concealed and carry in every state you go to because you's a fucking uh, uh, a celebrity. Right. So they really can't say nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? You think you think, don't, you think a part of a part of that whole situation where bro kinda had something to do with people being like, Oh, he a singer and oh he industry, so you think he wanted to prove no, like, like he get down like that? No, it ain't niggas that it ain't that that's proving for a nigga to get down. Dirt ain't dead, niggas ain't smoking no more. Don't get me wrong. Niggas out here they 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 you know what I mean, Buka, all them little niggas, they 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 bugs. But them niggas ain't killed no motherfucking body. Right. You know what I mean? Niggas don't say, I'm smoking on dude, I'm smoking on this. I'm, Tay ain't smoking on no nigga. Tay, you ask Tay who he's smoking on, he let your ass know, I'm smoking on OG. Or I'm smoking on this. Right. You know what I mean? He ain't smoking on no niggas. He don't do that goofball shit. That shit is played out, man. You diss me, I'll diss the house for what? Right, For what, man? Tay ain't diss the motherfucker ever since... Dirt came out with that goof ass shit, we ball, him and Booker. Right. That we ball, that we ball shit. And then Tay, Tay when he did the remix and killed him on the we ball. He fucked the man whole understanding up. That's you know what I'm saying? So, that's all that niggas gotta do, man. Think smart, bro. You niggas ain't thinking smart. What you think, what Come you on, think man. of the tape, bro, and your honest opinion? What you would take, what you think of the tape just for everything to kind of I know it ain't gonna stop, but slow down and niggas just get to the bag, bro, and niggas make it up out. Man, it's gonna take for a motherfucker. Gee, I'm telling you, man, it's gonna take some real life shit for a motherfucker to slow it down. It's gonna take for these people to play to, to let these niggas know in Chicago. Look, they gonna have they gonna. It's gonna take the martial law. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It's gonna take the martial law, G. These niggas gonna do it, nor see it. When you run around this bitch fucked up and you gotta go outside, you can't go outside. They got the, they got the motherfucking, the U.S. government riding around in army tanks and shit. And, and, and they, they cocking you in and cocking you out this motherfucker. And, and, and it's bedtime. It's bedtime now. 
That's what this going to end up up here. The martial law. That's what's going to happen. They going to end up putting the martial law up here. It's going to be fucked. You think, you think like Keith, you think Keith was kind of like a gift and curse for Chicago because he opened that door to shed the light on the music and stuff like that. But also when he came out, it's like shit just, it went crazy. Like everything just got, saying like it went from bad to worse. Shit was already crazy already. You know what I'm saying? Shit was already crazy. It's just, now nah, it's like, the BDs and the GDs always been, they, they first cousins, man. Right. The BDs is under the six, man. Ain't no blue fire, none of that shit, man. No blue fire, none of that, all that goofball ass shit. I don't know what the fuck niggas be talking about, all that goofball ass shit, man. I'm GD. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't portraying shit. Niggas used to think I'm BD because my family used to, my family from 45th State, and I used to be back there a lot. You know what I mean? I fuck with them, I fuck with the BDs heavy back there because we all grew up and we family. And like right now, today, we all ain't got old and we all ain't got old, nigga. We couldn't even, back then, nigga, you couldn't even step foot back there when we was at. We beat your motherfucking ass no matter who the fuck you was. Right. If you was my, if you was my motherfucking cousin, nigga, and you got caught back, 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 back here, nigga, I'm, it's like me, nigga, I'm, I, I could try to save your ass, but I really just supposed to walk the fuck off. If I could say, man, for that's my cousin, don't do shit, and because you walk back here like the war was on, and you didn't walk back here and I tell for them don't do shit, they, they can say, all right, you know what, man, get the fuck on. Or they can kill you right there and there or beat the shit out of you. And I can't do shit about it because you knew not right from wrong not to come back here because we won. Right. You know what I mean? That shit don't, that shit, not back then, that's how it was. You know what I mean? It ain't, I, that, you know what I mean? I'm, man, niggas don't know, man. You have to just sit back and as, analyze what you're doing when you're doing it. They ended, this internet shit is just fucked up the whole city. It's fucked the world up. Yeah, that's real, bro. Niggas get mad now they run to the internet, man. I, I, bro, I hate that shit. I got a Facebook page, all that shit. Like I said, I made this Instagram page and I made goddamn it on uh, my Twitter page because the shit that was going on with my, my little cuss, I had just came home. People tried to give me 12 years. You know what I mean? For a dope case, man. I'm, I'm a big dope case to the police. They ain't even locked me up the same day. They came back and got me two months later. They let me go on everything. They pulled me over everything the same day. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on when they came and got me. Until they sent me the paperwork. I'm damned this this day. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you just got, niggas just got to just be, just, just be smart, bro. Y'all got too much money. It, the, the money is in the city now. The money's in Chicago. The rap gang is, Chicago rap gang right now is the shit, bro. Yeah, that's real, bro. Y'all got a lot of it's talent, the shit, bro. bro. Yeah. It's the shit, bro. And niggas wouldn't even, bro, I, I, I know how to rap. I'm 36, bro. I know how to rap, bro. My daughter know how to rap. My son, he, he's going to be 10. He's trying to rap. Right. right now, bro. You know what I mean? I just don't even get him to that shit, man. My daughter was just saying, Daddy, won't you just let me write, let me ghost write for you real fast so you can woo woo. Um, no, 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 no. She did take me to the studio. Woo, woo. I'm supposed to be shooting at Atlanta. Probably like um, October, probably like Sweetest Day. If not, I'm going to shoot up that November. So, man, you can link too. Right, right, but right. yeah, man, shit got to just, niggas just got to just, just be, they just got to just, man, just get it together up here, bro. Right. I would love to see the city come together, bro. For real, bro. I got family out here, bro, that's, come on, man, take it to it with his own cousins, G, because they rolling with another nigga. Another nigga, because they saying he told them some shit, and y'all see this shit right here. Like, homie, them from out there, um, Argyle Gardens, Jock the Block. He like, man, look, you niggas slam the folks' name. You niggas did all this. You niggas did all that. You niggas did all this. And the paperwork come out, bro. And fool ain't said shit. And he been telling y'all this shit for years. That's why he fell back. And you niggas still saying his name, man. Fuck you, niggas. You know what I mean? Right. I'll like him on that. To, yeah, that's like the nigga Bill. His homie Bill, you know, Bill from out there too, the little nigga that he be rapping with, he be in Argyle Gardens with. But my cousin, ABE, he from out there. That's Bill. That was Bill homie. But then Tatum had got tight. And when Tate came home, he did the video in Bill crib the first day out with the suit and shit, with the what's name on. I was going to court with Tay and everything, bro. He had gave me the green light to fuck with, um, to fuck with your boy, um, the long way. 
Yeah. My homie, the long way. He just gave, he had gave him the green light. I'm telling him because long way sent me some shit saying he rap catch up. You know what okay. I mean? This before he was doing his channel, he was he was imitating motherfuckers. He sent me some shit, man. I'm rap catch up. So I hit Tay. I'm like, man, this so my motherfucker ain't rap catch up. Hit me up, man. I'm trying to do the interview, man, because I don't like this shit, bro. I'm right or wrong, I'm rolling with my little cousin. Right or wrong, right. you know what I mean? I don't give a fuck about sh- none of that shit. You know what I mean? You never pose a rat on a motherfucker anyway. Period. You know what I mean? Right. But I'm rolling with him right or wrong. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. Even though he didn't rat, or even if he did, I'm, I'm, I, I know I'll be like, man, look, hey, you know that shit was bogus, woo woo. But I ain't let no nigga do shit to you. Period. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You niggas don't. You niggas. You niggas. Y'all gotta look at it, bro. But you slam that nigga name, you don't slam that no nigga name, man. A nigga, that's all a nigga got. It's his name, is balls, G. That's it. It's just like calling a nigga gay. And ain't got paperwork. Yeah. Oh, he fucking with that fag. Now nah, a nigga saying you a faggot all over the streets, G. Come on, man. Now you now you gotta walk the streets with that with that jacket on. That's unless real, you, bro. That's real. Unless that shit unless you pull that shit. And he sat back, he didn't even, he didn't even beef with that shit, he didn't say shit to that shit. Every time they post paperwork, somebody sent it to him. He never, he never get up looking for shit. Somebody always sending him some shit. That's how he get it. The first paperwork was fake. He, they got on there and said, oh, uh, uh, um, they can't, they can't show the case because it's high profile. Man, fuck out of here, man. My uncle now, man, hobo now, man, legs now, roski now, man. They paperwork, nigga, they in a fed joint. That's federal. So you telling me state override federal? Hell, motherfucking no. They shit was on the motherfucking internet, nigga, the same day they got popped off. Nigga, and they was the ruthless motherfuckers in Chicago. Niggas know who the fuck they is, bro. Right. Niggas know what's cracking. I'm going to send you a couple of pictures, too, because when you when you do your, your lick, I want you to put these pictures in the back in the back of that. Bro, yeah, niggas know what it is, bro. Niggas know who it is, bro. Yeah, my uncle Roski, BD, yeah, he BD. My uncle was BD, bro, but they t- terrorized the city. Tear that game three life sentences, bro. He terrorized niggas. They know who the fuck he did. They know what it is. That's like, he ain't like, man, y'all, oh, man, we know what type of niggas y'all is, but y'all rolling with a rat, bro. He ain't no motherfucking rat. Right. Fuck, you talking about a rat? Where the black and white? Show me some black and white. Black and white speaks for itself. Yeah, I like the and fact, I like the fact, I like the fact that your cousin, you know, he handled the situation humbly, bro. But I know it hurt him at the end of the day, bro, because these your homies yeah. that you grew up with, you feel me? But I'm glad to see him still going and still out here making moves, too, though. Yeah, but now, you know that they gave him the blue check on Instagram. Right, right. So it's like, he's a celebrity now. Yeah, he's popping. Yeah, he's popping. And he ain't that shit but a hundred and something thousand dollars, man. Hey, man, I'm telling you, man, that shit got celebrities with millions of fools, millions just getting that shit. You know what I mean? Like I tell you, bro, let's say Osama, bro. That's like my little cousin, bro. They like, we all like, that's my, bro, that's my little cousin too. Shorty, his daddy, one of the niggas that I, they, that I grew up under. He one of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Right. We just take no shorty. Tay and Lizzie used to be running around the project building up and out, 310 from 310 to 308, 310 to 308. All day long, bro. All day long, that's all they did. Was right. ran from back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back in the crib, bro. Running through the we out there selling drugs, they in there throwing up their hands, fuck y'all, they all that shit. Then I look at Shorty, he be, be paying away. You know what I mean? Shorty hot than a motherfucker. Yeah. I just seen his ass like last month. He pulled up on Forty Third Estate. You know what I mean? Niggas don't know take and go wherever the fuck you want to go, bro. Right. You niggas can't. A lot of you niggas can't. Take whole family GDs. Right. The whole family G- GDs. I'm talking about the whole fucking family, G. Don't get me wrong, all our kids and shit, yeah, they is BDs. A lot of, lot of, lot of my cousins and my, um, and his, his cousins and his uncle, his, his, his uncle and, you know what I mean? A lot of them BDs. But bro, the whole family GDs, bro. Right. Bro, we from State Street, bro. Every time you go on, on, on tape page, bro, and you look up and you see him down there, on, down there showing all them motherfucking crowds and shit, bro, he with us. That's where he born and raised from, 43rd the state, the low end. Right. He born and raised, and he be down there everywhere, everywhere. It, it, all this summer, he was down there with us all all day. You go on my page, you see he on there with my son now. You know what I'm saying? So he can go wherever the fuck he want to go because we known in the streets, bro, and niggas know who the fuck we is, bro. If they got a problem, bro, they know how to come, come address it, bro. 
They know who the, they know who the fuck we is, bro. I ain't saying a nigga can't be touched. Any motherfucker can be touched, but a nigga know who he is, bro. A nigga know who he is, bro. Right. Anything from else you want to get? Go ahead, bro. From state all the way back, from state all the way back, bro. You see them W's he be throwing up. That's for Welch real. From state all the way back to Cottage Grove, all the way up to Mandrake, bro. My little brother and them got that bitch sold up. That's Welch real. Right. Ain't no motherfucker coming through shit doing nothing, bro. Nemo came down there, bro. And somebody said they sent him. They came down there, was man looking for his ass. He had to get out of there. They was on his ass already, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas just be talking, man. Niggas ain't, niggas ain't, niggas ain't who they is, bro. Niggas need to just get that shit together, bro. Be real men out here, bro. Take care of your motherfucking kids. Take care of all they, shit. take care of everything they need to take care of, man. Because the life, life is too motherfucking short. Y'all up, they up here killing kids and shit now, bro. They just caught the motherfucker Rosalind Rapist. The man that was throwing them girls behind the garbage and shit. Man, it's fucked up up here, man. This ain't no way to raise your family, G. Period. Right. Unless you, unless you want to, unless you strict on them. You know what I mean? You got niggas up here fucking with little ass girls, bro. That's why, bro, like, no, gr- that's why, like, in, in my mind, bro, like, I don't pick sides, bro. I be rooting for all them niggas on, on the low, bro. I want to see them all make it out, bro, because I know how it is coming bro, up in, in the jungle, let bro. Let me tell you, bro. I want to see every motherfucker make it, bro. Right. I ain't no hate on none of that shit, bro. None of that shit, bro. I'm I'm good. I'm good. I, I, I'm right now, bro, I got a three-floor house, bro. I stand a three-floor house. There's three floors in this motherfucker. Right. And I'm in the heart of Inglewood, bro. I got a pool out in front. Of, I got a front yard, not a backyard. I got a pool out in front of my crib, a, a ten foot basketball court, and a trampoline. Right. And I stay on the nigga. I stay on. I stay on the block with the stones, and I'm GD. Right. You know what I mean? And I know, and they, and they, and they good, and they good. They ain't no, ain't no, ain't no goofy shit, no dumb shit. You know what I mean? My cousin them from over, from over here too. Anyway, I just had found out that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's it's good, niggas. Ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't everything ain't what you ain't what you say it is. You can go on the block and hang out, you know what I'm saying, and get out. They ain't just coming up shooting up blocks. But don't get me wrong, you motherfuckers get when it when the time come. Yeah, every day a motherfucker getting hit out here. Right, little bro. Every day they look. Yeah. Anything else you want to get get off your chest before we get out of here and shout the people out your Instagram, your social media, and all that too. Man, y'all can follow me at man. Take 600 Cuz and Hobo, man. Take 600 Cuz and Hobo 29 at gmail.com. Or you can look me up on Instagram. Long live peso. Underscore F dot O dot E. Underscore 43 RD. Yeah, man. I just want to say, man, you know what I mean? Shout out to every motherfucker that's rapping in Chicago, man. We ain't no haters, man. I mean, shout out to Welch Real. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to 43rd. Shout out to all the GDs out there. All the BDs from 45th State. You know what I mean? From state to the lake, man. That's what it is. That's what it is. You know what I mean? That's all. I, that's it, bro. You know what I mean? Niggas just need to just get it together, bro. That's all I say. The city just need to get it together, man. Basically, once the city gets it together, it'd be cool, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? And for all you fuck niggas that's out there that was putting out that patty ass paperwork, running around and slamming my motherfucking cousin name, fuck y'all. Y'all niggas can eat a dick. That paperwork came out black and white speech for itself. He rests his case. Y'all see what the fuck 69 did? Same shit dirt ass finna do to Vaughn. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, on my mama, man. bro. We gonna get up out of here, bro. Don't hang up, though, bro. I'm about, I'm about to, I'm about to uh, end the interview, but don't hang up, though. All right. All right.